The original lineup of McDonald's characters in 1974. I don't know what this is. I feel like Gandalf is hiding in the cast of characters there. You shall not pass this burger for three days. Who's this guy? Who's the burger cop? There's another one back there. There was a pirate? They had a pirate? Dude, McDonald's had a pirate and a... Ha and I know this guy's the Hamburglar. But I don't know who uh, Gandalf the whatever is over here. Somebody got Mayor McCheese. They had a mayor? They had a mayor. Mayor McCheese. So I'm assuming this was the mayor. This was the cop. I, I feel like this guy's going to have like small burger energy by comparison to him. Because this guy's like, you know, he's got two patties. You know what I'm saying? This guy's just got one patty. You know? So if anything, this guy should be the, the mayor. This guy should be Mayor McCheese just because he's got extra cheese and extra burger. And this is a... Uh, was that Grimace? Or am I thinking of a Sesame Street character? I don't know. What it is? L look at that. All your friends in McDonald's hope to you enjoy the show. All your friends in McDonald's. The bank-robbing clown. Whatever the hell these mop things are. A pirate. Some disgruntled mayor. A crazy clown. Somebody who's literally grimacing all the time. And a cop. And Gandalf. Lawn darts game. I'm, I'm assuming somebody put the blood in there. But that's kind of funny. Oh my god. Here are these giant darts you just throw. Well, here's the thing. In the defense of this game, humans would assume that people would keep clear an area where giant projectiles that were very sharp were being tossed. But apparently nobody did. And they thought it was like playing Frisbee. Throw it over here! You sure? It's a lawn dart. You know, darts stick to things. They kind of impale stuff by nature. Throw it. I got it. You've already had three beers. You want me to throw it? Yeah, I got it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, my eye. You know, stupid. I used to throw them into the air and dodge them. I'm still alive, so therefore I'm Superman. You're that person. You're that person that this had to have warnings for. Do not throw up in the air and dodge them. This is not part of the game. You're altering the gameplay. Neo Geo! Bro! Bro! Dude, the controller's bigger than the console. My God. Holy crap. I wonder how many people got carpal tunnel from that. Yeah, that was a big lawsuit and changed toys for that uh, generation. Yeah, see, it ruined it for everybody. So yeah, when, when everyone complains about people uh, eating Tide Pods and whatnot, keep in mind... You know, some people are from a generation where they would throw darts at each other. But we never drank laundry detergent because laundry detergent didn't look fun. And as children, the last thing you wanted to do was your laundry. But if they gave you a sharp object you can throw in the air, you were there. Quite literally. And then in intensive care. Ew. Ew. Purple ketchup. Oh my God, that looks so wrong. Like somebody got that, you know, squeezable plastic all over your fries and they're like, eat this. No. Oh, that's so bad. I'd rather dodge lawn darts than drink chemicals. Yeah, because you have a chance, you know. I think humans are actually becoming more unaware of how stupid they can be. Um, hmm. I don't think people think they are stupid. That's the thing. That's the whole point about being stupid. It's literally ignorance is bliss. You're happy because you don't know that you shouldn't be, you know? And I can, I can get that, but Gremlins. This was a kid's movie, by the way. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think your grandparents had this, right? The good old General Electric, electric can opener. Remember when GE made stuff? <laughs> That's old timey. That thing was a beast. It used to, like, open up anything. What year is this? Who misses the Bell Burger back in the early days of Taco Bell? Yeah, 10 cent coffee, the early days of Taco Bell? What was this, the 50s? How long was Taco Bell around? Bell Burger, 25 cents for a burger. A burger, 25 cents, chat. I can't even get a pack of gum for 25 cents. That's ridiculous. My favorite animated series as a kid. Masters of the Universe, which 
brings me to something else. Okay, there's a couple of art pieces here that were generated by AI art, okay? But Masters of the Universe reminded me, and I kept this because I wanted to show you, all right? This is AI art. That's pretty good. Skeletor, right? Nice. I wouldn't call it fan art as the robots made it. You just typed in words, okay? Look at this. This is funny. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia. <laughs> Dude. That 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 pink thing right there. I'm not gonna criticize them, but that hair is Okay. And then there were, I think there was another one. Oh yeah, they did uh Thundercats. There we go. Doom. Panthro has hair. Okay, yeah, that's AI art. It's AI art. Bear with it, okay? Oh, there was a couple here. There you go. Six. All right, uh, whoever this is, I don't know who that one was supposed to be. Uh, this one, one of the one of the Thundercat kids. He did wear a pink shirt. He did, yeah. Um, I don't know who that's supposed to be, but I, that looks like Hugh Jackman bod from like, uh, Wolverine, the Wolverine. I don't know what that is. And then there's the cat. I don't know if there was more down here, but it was kind of interesting that. Hold on, hold on. There's another screenshot for me. Uh-huh. But, no, it's a, you know, again, AI art. I know some people hate it. Some people don't care. But, it, hey, it makes good stuff. You know? If I said to somebody, bro, make me make me a really cool, you know, skeleton kind of image for my cell phone or a wallpaper or something, bro. And they'd be like, all right, man, it'd be like $50. You know? And then it'll be like, well, I could just do that with AI. But you're taking away from artists. All right, hold up. Because there's this argument here, and sometimes I feel like it's very interesting because uh, nobody likes when you point out the hypocrisy of it all, right? Skeletor, right? It's a property owned by another company. Somebody just made AI fan art for whatever reason, you know? So somebody would complain that, A, the AI art is now taking a job away from somebody who does fan art. So therefore st stealing a job but in that respect somebody who does fan art for a living off commission and whatnot they're taking somebody else's intellectual property making an image of it and then selling it so it's it's in in all sides it's thievery you know what i'm saying it's like ai is stealing jobs from people who are stealing intellectual property from another company who is basically the loser out of all of this i feel like the ip owners are the only ones getting screwed you know disney star so that ants wasn't and correct me if i'm wrong i don't know if he was a main character or whatnot but i know dennis leary was in ants as the ladybug but wasn't woody allen like a main character in ants like i feel like he was but i'm not sure if that's true it was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. I remember that. Ladybug was in a bug's life. It was in a bug's life. So then, what the hell was ants? Yes, Woody Allen was in, is that ant on the cover. Also, Sylvester Stallone was his buddy. Woody Allen and Sylvester Stallone were ants in a movie. I can't imagine that exchange of verba di verbal dialogue going over what well. I got to watch this now. Like, I, I can't imagine those two personalities working together. Like, hey, uh, we got to do things here. Oh, geez, I'm not sure if I should, you know, the anthills and whatnot. You know, like, I feel like there would just be a harsh clash of character. Uh, all right, whatever. I mean, I guess I got to go see it now because I, I don't. For some reason, so Bugs Life was completely different then. There were there were a lot of insect movies then for kids. Sharon Stone was the female ant. Oh my God. Fall preview. Really, that's the cover you went with. Fall preview. A dead tree with letters. Oh my God. What the news doesn't tell you about the CIA. That's literally what the news doesn't tell you. You want to know why the news doesn't tell you? Because it's the CIA. It's classified information. That's why they don't tell you. God, clickbait, even back then. Seeing a nudge in MSN Messenger. There were nudges? I never used MSN. I was always an AOL. 
1960s. Taco Bell was around for that long? Holy crap. Dude. Dude, Taco's been a... I didn't realize Taco Bell was... I thought Taco Bell popped up in like the mid-80s or something like that. Sprite Remix commercials? No. Pilot Wings? No. Who remembers AOL dial-up internet? Shh. Oh, dark times. Here's the thing. It, when you saw the rest of this image, it was like, all right, we're doing it. We're trying to connect. And then you were... We did it. We are connected to something. We did it. We survived. You know, we pressed, we said connect and it eventually did it. Dude, my router restarts quicker than that. Wow. And you could still play Warcraft on AOL dial up. That's crazy.